was turned into a domestic cyber attack by our government on Americans. Evening everyone and welcome to The Next Revolution. Tonight, part one of our special investigation will focus on the FBI, the very government agency that is supposed to protect us attacked our democracy in 2020. Their aim, protecting Joe Biden. I wanna talk about Steve Hilton and how absolutely ridiculous he is while all the time being bought and paid for by Twitter and Facebook. Protecting Joe Biden? Then why did the Trump administration ask Twitter to censor the Hunter pictures? The vice president of the United States planning to become president bought and paid for through his family by our number one global enemy, China. This man, Christopher Wray, the director of the FBI, presided over a secret operation to cover up the Joe Biden corruption scandal by colluding with big tech. Colluding with big tech. Ever notice how much they use that word now? In his agency, meddled yet again in our elections to help the Democrats. But at worst, Christopher Wray knew about the election interference operation and approved it, or worse still, directed it. Weeks before an election, evidence that the Democratic Party candidate was financially compromised by China was just disappeared. Fox News is all about projection. Compromised by China? How about the 16 million that Trump got from China in his secret Chinese bank account? Or for that matter, the 19 million that we found out he got from North Korea just last week. Cutting off, I said, Eric, who's funding? I know no banks because of the recession, the Great Recession, have touched a golf course. You know, no one's funding any kind of golf construction. It's dead in the water the last four or five years. And this is what he said. He said, well, we don't rely on American banks. We have all the funding we need out of Russia. <laughs> I said, really? And he said, oh, yeah, we've got some guys that uh, really, really love golf, and they're really invested in our programs. We just go there all the time. No, that it was the FBI that was behind the suppression of the Biden corruption story. Mark Zuckerberg was the first to go on the record. The FBI, I think, basically came to us, uh, some, some folks on our team, and was like, hey, um, just so you know, like you should be on high alert. There was the, we we thought that there was a lot of Russian propaganda in the 2016 election. We have it on notice that basically there's about to be some kind of dump of of um, uh, uh, that's similar to that. So just be vigilant. Did they specifically say you need to be on guard about that story? I, I no, I, I don't remember if it was that specifically, but it was it basically fit the pattern. Zuckerberg says that no, in fact, the FBI did not ask them to censor the story. It was going to come in October. How the hell did they know that? Because the FBI had been secretly spying on Rudy Giuliani. They knew about it because Rudy kept saying it on Fox News, Paris. The only way they could get Twitter and Facebook to justify the censorship, censorship under their terms of service, hacked materials involving Hunter Biden that would drop in October 2020 as part of a Russian disinformation campaign. They cooked the whole thing up. Rudy cooked the whole thing up. That's why he got raided. The most insidious way in which all these lefty Silicon Valley tech companies have become arms of the government is the infiltration of security officials into those companies in senior management roles. So private citizens aren't allowed to go out and get themselves a job? Who's trying to censor people now? Matthew W. from FBI Intelligence Program Manager to Twitter's Senior Director of Product Trust. Patrick G. 23 years as an FBI Supervisory Agent to become Twitter's Head of Corporate Security. Bruce A. an FBI Supervisory Special Agent left to become Twitter's Director of Insider Risk and Security Investigations. It's not just the FBI. After 10 years as a CIA analyst, Michael Scott Robinson became Twitter's Senior Policy Manager for Site, Integrity, Trust and Safety. Three years ago, Twitter hired Greg Anderson, a NATO official who worked on PSYOPs. Amazingly, Gordon McMillan, Twitter's head of editorial for Europe, the Middle East and Africa, was revealed in 2019 to be an active British Army officer in a unit focused on online warfare and psychological operations. And it's not just Twitter. This man, Aaron Berman, bragging on Meta's website about running the team that, quote, writes the rules for Facebook and decides, quote, what is acceptable or not, is from the CIA. 
where, amongst other things, he says he wrote and edited the President of the United States' daily brief. A revolving door means that it goes back and forth. Government officials who retired from the government and then took a job at a private company, that's their business. Facebook hired this man, Scott Stern, who was head of targeting for CIA drone strikes to target misinformation and malicious actors. That's reassuring. Here's a few more. Deborah Berman, Brian Weisbard, Cameron Harris, all of them from the CIA, working in areas like misinformation, now at Facebook, working on trust and safety, their euphemism for censorship. What could go wrong? Dozens more just in this one article. Emily Vacker, Facebook trust and safety again. Ten years in the FBI. Sheriff Kamal, trust and safety, previously a program manager at the Pentagon. The CIA's Mike Torrey was hired to run Facebook's response to complex information operations threats. CIA contractor Hagen Barnett became head of harmful content operations. A Department of Defense intelligence officer Susanna Morrow became director of Facebook's global security intelligence. Threat Investigations Manager Ellen Nixon came from the FBI. Influence Operations Manager Olga Belagolova came from the State Department and the Office of the Secretary of Defense. Director of Global Threat Disruption David Agronovich came from the National Security Council, as did Head of Security Policy Nathaniel Gleicher, Head of Cyber Espionage Investigations Mike Dvelyansky, former FBI Director and Associate General Counsel for Cyber Security and Investigations Haley Chang came from the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security. The security state has infiltrated the highest levels of the company. On and on it goes, round and round it spins. The revolving door between Facebook and Twitter and the FBI and DNI and CIA and DHS, it is totally outrageous. I'm not impugning the motives of any of the people we've cited tonight. Yes, you are accusing them. You're accusing them of corruption. And what's the word you used? Collusion. Interesting how they always use that word collusion nowadays. I wonder why. Hmm. But the collective effect of all this, the scale and extent of the security state takeover of the social media platforms that today are the main way Americans express themselves, the coziness, the cronyism, in any other industry, we'd call it corruption. But in this of all industries, it's worse than that because it's about our fundamental freedoms as Americans. Imagine what we'd say if a Russian social media platform was chock full of former KGB or FSB agents. Oh, they are. And tried to claim it was independent of Putin's regime. Just imagine. Oh, please. Congress has done nothing about it. The media is silent about it. No one's been held accountable. How can this happen in America? The ringleaders of this plot must be identified, prosecuted and punished for what they did. Christopher Ray, he should stand aside while investigations are carried out. Congress should slow down the revolving door, legislate a ban on critical tech companies hiring from the security state unless a special exemption requested and debated publicly has been made. So private citizens aren't allowed to go out and get themselves a job? Who's trying to censor people now? And in case you're wondering, he ends the whole thing with a commercial for Twitter. Go fig. That is the next revolution we need. Well, Twitter is free now, so it's a great time to follow us if you're already on Twitter, or to join or rejoin. If you're not, you can find me at Steve Hilton X and our show at NextRevFNC. The security state has absolutely exploded since the Republicans passed the Patriot Act, something that Fox News supported every single minute of. Democrats have been fighting the Patriot Act since it was passed. It was y'all that started this wild attack against people's personal thoughts. That's why y'all constantly accuse us of doing the same thing. Y'all are the projection party. And as for Facebook and Twitter being held accountable, I absolutely think they should. That's why Republicans need to stop fighting Section 230 being overturned because it absolutely gives Facebook, Twitter, all of these truth social type bullshits absolute pass on anything they publish. And this is the insidious nature of this whole thing. When push comes to shove, they know exactly what they're doing. They don't want speech that attacks them. That is wrong and unpatriotic. 
But anytime they are attacked, well, then that's government collusion. Uh, they're, they're, we're being, our First Amendments are being violated. You stupid idiots. If a private company shuts you up from their own platform, that's not a First Amendment violation. That's a company deciding to do what they want to do with their First Amendment. The government didn't stop any of this. Corporate scumbags made a corporate scumbag decision. Stop going after the government on this deal, y'all. Go after anybody who wants to own Facebook or Twitter. Like Mark Zuckerberg. Or, I don't know, how about Elon Musk? They're not going to do that. They love him. They love what he says. I'm Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal. For that matter, they love Zuckerberg too. If it wasn't for Zuckerberg, Donald Trump never would have been elected. Y'all take it easy. Like and subscribe, please. And give me a comment. Tell me why I'm wrong. Donald Trump said the results of the 2020 election should be overturned and called for the termination of the Constitution. Trump plans to terminate the Constitution by asking Herschel Walker to drive it to the clinic. (laughs) 